Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video we will learn about the basics of user form in VBA in Excel. So let's get started. Here I have a blank workbook and let me press Alt F11 to open the VB editor. Now a user form is something that you can design and you can program so that it shows up as an input form where the user can enter the details and then you can do a lot of things using it. So for a simple example is that if you want to collect say employment details then you can create a user form where the employee can enter his name, gender, date of joining, all these details and then you can capture these details. So in this video we will learn the basics of user forms in Excel. Uh, we will not be creating a full-fledged form we would be doing this uh, in the next video. In this video we'll simply learn how to access user form and what are the different tools that we can use. So to insert a user form you can go anywhere in any of these objects and right click and go to insert. Now you can see here so far we have been using a module but in this case we would be using a user form and as soon as I click on user form a couple of things happens first is I get this user form which is user form 1 in this case I get this window open where I have this user form here now this is how it will look like when we create a user form and if I run this as of now this is how the user form would look like and I can add elements to it, uh, text boxes, buttons, drop downs and it also opens this toolbox and this toolbox has elements that I can add to this user form. If by mistake I close this then you can reopen the toolbox by clicking on this hammer and uh, this, arrow, uh, this icon. So now the first thing that you need to know is using the properties for user form and all the elements in user form and we would be using this properties window quite extensively in this video. The first thing that I want to do is change the name of this user form. Now this name is fine but let's say that you want to uh, create a user form where you're adding details of say employees and there are a lot of other options here so as soon as I click here you can see that this name has changed if you want to change this name here as of now it says user form 1 but if you want to change how uh, the title appears here you can come down and you can change the caption so in this case let's say I make this add details oops add details you can also change some other settings which is the background color as of now it is a button face which is the default color color you can select from this menu or you can go to palette and select a color from here if you want some other color uh, apart from what this what is mentioned here you can right click on any of these squares and then you can select the color in this case I will go with the default one you can change the border color border style caption we have already changed and there are a whole lot of options here that you can change now let's add something to this user form but before that let's see how it would look like if we run this user form so to run this user form I would simply select it and then I would press this button which is run sub user form and when I do that this appears in the workbook now it has nothing it just says add details and you can close this and now we would build this user form we would add elements to it and then we will see how it looks so in this video I will not show you how everything comes together as a user form and how we can use to enter details and everything I would simply talk about the elements that you can use here these elements the first one is label and if I drag this or I simply click on it and I come here and then I press uh, the left button of my mouse then it enters something called as label 1 this would be a label uh, it does nothing it's just uh, something like say name and then you can have a text box in front of this label you can again you will have to do a couple of things in the properties window for each of the elements that we enter the first thing that you need to know about is the name of this element and it is important that you name it something which is descriptive of what it does because we would be using these names in the coding so uh, a good practice is to use a three letter uh, convention which is the Hungarian note 
notations so what you can do is you can use lbl for labels if it is text you can use txt if it is say a, a combo box you can use cmb for a command button you can use cmd so these are different notations and uh, you can easily search for hungarian notation in vba and you'll find the entire list in this case i would make this lbl name and now a couple of things that you can do is here it says auto size so in this case this is the text and if I want to auto size this I can simply double click on this and it auto uh, it auto fits this uh, you can change the colors you can change a lot of things but the important part here is caption and here I can change what you what you look here which is label one I can change this to say name and now I have this label here now let's insert a text box so here I have the text box here I insert this text box here in this and I can resize it I can move it around along with uh, as an object and I can also align these and I can do anything I can do with objects with these user form elements as well so for example here if I want to say align these then I can go to format align and I can say uh, middle and you can do this when, with any number of elements so this is something that we would do when we create a full-fledged user form here all I want to show you is that in this case if I click on this it opens the properties window for text box 1 now again I would want to change this and let me call this txt name so that I would know instantly that if I need to refer to the name uh, part here the label would be lbl name and the text box would be txt name and here again you can auto size if you want to and you can uh, play around with all these options and this has entered uh, a label and a text box now let's run this user form and see how it looks as soon as I press on this it shows me add details dialog box here I have name and here I have the text box now I can enter anything here whatever I want I can enter my name let's say I enter my name here Sumit Bansal so as of now nothing happens because I do not have a button I do not have any mechanism to do anything with the values that I enter uh, so let's do one thing let's uh, try something I would create a button here and what I want to do is as soon as I click on that button I want this name or any value that I enter here to be entered in cell A1 so to do that we would simply create a simple button here I have a command button I would bring the command button here and in command button again the first thing is you should change the name I will call it CMD add details because when I click on this it would add the details and uh, I would change the caption and I would call this add details so these are the only two changes that I would make in this button and now what I want is when I run this then uh, I type something in this text box and when I click on this button then it gets added in range A1 as of now if I run this I type anything here and I click on add details nothing happens because I have not specified anything so what we need to do is we need to specify the code here for these elements and each of these elements would have a code window for of each of its own not a code window but uh, a sub of uh, its own so let's say if I double click on this button and as soon as I double click on this it opens this window here where it says CMD add details underscore click and you can see that I have other events as well I can go on double click enter error exit so these are the things that can I can use as events and then I can specify the code so whenever I click on this button then the code here would get uh, get executed now there are other elements in this user form so this is you can say this is the code window for this user form and if I click on this you can see that there are other elements as well I have label name I have text name uh, user form and then I have CMD add details so as of now let me stick to CMD add details and what I need to do is I need to enter the value of the text box here in range a1 so I would simply type range a1 dot value is equal to and now we would see how to use those names that we have given to each of these elements the first thing that we would do is enter the text value here in this cell a1 so I would type txt and now if I press control spacebar you can see it completed and 
says txt name because this is the name that I gave to the text box and I would say dot value and you can see that this is an object which has all these uh, properties or methods so in this case let me simply show you I type text name dot and it gives me all these options and now here I would use the value uh, property and what I'm doing is I'm saying text dot name value would go into range even dot value so now let's go back to the user form and here I would run this and now I can type my name here and now when I click on add details I expect something to go into a1 and when I click on it this name comes here so this is a very very simple user form all we have done is we have created uh, a label you have created a text box and then we have a button which adds the details here now uh, let's do another thing I don't want to come back to this window again and again and run this subroutine or this user form so I would create a button that would run this for me so to do that you can either go to the developer tab and then insert the active X controls command button so you enter this button here and then you can specify the macro so if I want to say uh, use this command button I would simply double click on this it opens the command button one underscore click sub and then I would simply say add details dot show and what this does is this is the name of the user form and it will show that user form so now if I come back here and I click on this first I'll have to get out of the design mode I come here and I click on this it opens the add details user form now I can enter the name add detail and it will go here the other way is using a shape so if I come back to insert and I insert a shape here then I can create a button using this so let's say I would go to edit text and I would say add details and let me resize it the benefit of using a shape is that you can uh, change the look and feel of this button you can format it and it looks better than this button and now what I need to do is I need to create a module and I need to have a sub within that module that would open the uh, user form and then I would assign that macro to this button so to do that I would press alt F11 I would right click go to module and here I would use a simple sub show user form and I would simply again type the same thing add details oops add details dot show and now I would assign that macro to this button I would go to assign macro and here I would assign this macro to this button here and now when I click on this it again does the same thing so these are two ways you can either use the inbuilt ActiveX control command button or you can create a button and then uh, show the user form both does the same thing and then you can enter a name here and it gets added here and the last thing that I want to show you in this video is what if I don't want to enter a video maybe I, I've entered something but I decide not to do it either I can go here and close it or I can get something here where I can say close so that it will close that user form and no entry gets made so I would go back to the VB editor and in the user form we would add another button oops let me go back to this thing I would drag this here and then I would add another button and here I would call it CMD close and the caption would be say close now obviously we can align these quickly and now I need to uh, have a line of code here for close which would close the user form so I would double click on this it opens this line it says CMD close underscore click and in the other case where I wanted to load the user form I said add details dot show in this case I would have to use another keyword which is unload and then the name of the user form which would be add details now let's see if this works I click on it I am typing something but now I close it and as soon as I press close it goes away nothing happens no entry gets done here another way of uh, unloading the user form is instead of saying add details the name of the user form you can simply say unload me 
ME and it would unload the user form because this entire code window is for the user form which is add detail so it already knows what user form we are talking about so you can either use unload name or you can use unload me anything is fine and it does the same thing you're entering something and then you close it so uh, these are a couple of things that you can do with user form uh, that's it in this video we would be talking about a user form in a lot more detail and we would be creating uh, a rigorous user form where we can use that user form to capture details in the next video so i hope you like this video thank you and have a nice day